going on and welcome back. So today is damage assessment day. Yep, finally gained the courage to uh, jack the car up and get underneath and, and see what all is damaged. Hopefully, hopefully very minimal. I have briefly looked. Um, I do see some very concerning things. Um, so I want to show you that. I'm going to try to get the camera underneath there um, so I can show you on video. Um, if I can't, then I will take a bunch of pictures and, you know, go through the pictures one by one in the video. But so if you caught my last video, uh, finally got the line lock done and went to test it. And the last burnout attempt, I won't even call it a burnout. Um, the last attempt broke the rear differential mount bushings, not bushings, bolts. Broke the bolts that actually hold the rear of the differential in place. Now, it didn't break, it didn't break the front. Those are still intact. Um, but what it did do is it allowed the rear of the differential to come down and when it did that it brought the half shafts with it obviously and those were allowed to basically grind into the subframe back there the subframe part of the cradle so yeah um not good man not good so but anyway i'm going to turn this camera around hopefully get you underneath there i'll take my flashlight with me so that you can see firsthand what happened like i said this is the first time i've come out here to even look at the car because i was completely disgusted by what happened and didn't really want to know honestly i didn't want to see any major major damage so but anyway you know i had to i gotta look at it i gotta get the car fixed i gotta see what i gotta do so anyway i'm gonna flip the camera around let's see what happened all right, so here we go underneath the car. Sorry about the fan noise. But man, it is hot out here. And uh, hopefully my video won't be too shaky. But So here's a shot of the differential. As you can see, let me get under here. As you can see, on the passenger side, it's extremely close to the exhaust, actually not touching. But on the driver's side, I believe it is sitting on the exhaust right there. Um, that isn't too terrible of a deal, I guess. I guess the exhaust kind of helped to catch it, but <laughs> not really because the half shafts, as you'll see in a minute, are sitting on the subframe. So let me get you over here. I got some light on it. As you can see, the boots are pretty much destroyed. Um, not sure where that clamp is, but there you go. Let me get the light on there better without too much glare. There you go. That is the driver's side half shaft. Uh, like I said, it's sitting right on that subframe. Um, the outer part of the half shaft doesn't look too bad, but yeah, that's pretty messed up right there. As you can see, grease everywhere, man. As if I didn't have enough issues with grease. Here we go again, but there is one of the front bolts. That's the driver's side um, front bolt, the rear one. Uh, it's still intact. And let me see if I can try to get you a view of the front one on the driver's side. I'm hitting my camera. But there's the front bushing. I don't think my camera wants to focus too well. There's the front bushing and bolt. That is still intact. And let's switch over to the passenger side. Oh, bear with me. But here's the passenger side, half shaft. As you can see, the boot is pretty much screwed on this side as well so and again grease man grease everywhere man golly <sighs> but that's the half shafts there um 
the outer boot on this side looks pretty good it's in there it still looks pretty good but now let's see if we can get further up underneath the car here and I want to show you a little bit of the drive shaft so let's see if I can get you up in there if I get my camera to focus there we go as you can see there are some marks on the end of the drive shaft um, where it attaches to the u-joints there are some marks there from where it contacted and what it looks like you pull you back here what it looks like is it contacted that um, insulation sound editing heat shield whatever you want to call it. it looks like it contacted that there that's underneath the gas tank so hopefully it's just that silver stuff and hopefully it didn't actually penetrate into the heat shield for the gas tank uh, but if it did then we'll have to replace that as well but there you go that is what the drive shaft did back here and a little bit further up you can see that mark there the parking brake cable actually goes over top of the drive shaft right there and that is a mark from the cable so it's not terrible but it is a little bit of a groove and there's some other markings on the drive shaft God, i wish this camera would focus sorry about that y'all but this light's playing tricks on it let me try to do it without the light that might be better there as you can see there's some marks there there's the the major mark from the uh, from the parking brake cable and then there's some other rubbing there um, hopefully that's not too big of a deal hopefully that doesn't throw off the balance um, but I still may pull it just to uh, have it checked I'm gonna have to have the half shaft checked anyway so I might as well pull the drive shaft um, DSS is only a couple hours away from me I believe so I'll probably just drive them up there the drive shaft the half shaft drive them up drop them off and say go through them see what you find out let me know and um, you know let me know what this is gonna cost so let me uh let me try to slide back out from underneath here here on the back that is where the driver's side bushing is and the insert is gone as you know and there's the passenger side also insert is gone uh, I looked at the ears on the differential they look okay from what I can tell so far they look okay Let's see if I can get you a shot of the driver's side ear over here there's the driver's side it looks okay so I think we're good there I don't think we broke you know the differential cover that's actually part of the differential cover so I don't think we mess that up but let me uh let me get out from underneath this car and then we'll talk about it just a little bit more all right so there you see it firsthand um that is the damage that you know we can see so far um I do plan on dropping the entire cradle out of the car for one to make it easy to work on and two I can see if there's any more damage um, you know without everything in the way cradle right out in front of me you know I'll be able to inspect it and um, you know see if there's anything else that I can't see at the moment because the exhaust is in the way right now partially and you know i just can't see on top of things and whatnot so anyway that that is it that is the damage that uh, huh. so so far the boots on the half shafts the inner boots those obviously need to be replaced if there is no further damage to the half shafts then you know that'll be a blessing um i have talked to some other guys about it and they've run into the same situation and their half shafts were good to go they had to have their boots replaced they even replaced them themselves 
and they were good after that so but i just want to make sure just for peace of mind you know like i said dss isn't too far away from me so i'll probably just run them up there and um you know have them look them over and i'm going to pull the drive shaft to get a better look at that um uh, i do need to pull that anyway get it out of the way inspect that heat shielding and all that stuff make sure it didn't go through and you know possibly touch the the gas tank that would suck royally um but no smell of gas so i don't think it did i don't even think it penetrated the plastic heat shield i think it just kind of chewed up that silver um heat shielding or insulation whatever you want to call it so anyway uh, that's the plan and i did want to share this with you guys um i don't know when i'm going to get around to dropping the cradle hopefully soon hopefully soon so that i can plan a trip to dss you know i gotta give them a call and see what they say and uh you know maybe schedule a day to you know drive up there and drop this stuff off if i have a scheduled date then i'll probably work a little faster maybe to get this cradle out and get those out hopefully i won't have any issues pulling the half shafts out uh, but with everything in front of me, I don't think that'll be an issue. Hopefully it'll, it'll be a lot easier than laying upside down and, and trying to do it under the car. But like I said, just want to share with you guys and let you know what the game plan is and let you know exactly what those two broken bolts so far have done and the potential cost. So we'll see. Hopefully the axles are good. That's the, that's the main issue there. Um, is the axles because those are not cheap those are the 2000 horsepower dss axles um you know i try to spare no expense on a lot of things and apparently i didn't do this right i didn't do <laughs> this upgrade right but trust me when it goes back together it will be right and hopefully a hell of a lot stronger but anyway that's going to do it step child up on jack stands um that's where she's going to be for a little while but Hope you like this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Stick around, man. Let's see what happens with this car. Let's get it back on the road. Let's get it fixed, and let's get it to the track. Let's get the blower on. All that good stuff, and we'll see you on the next one.